All right, so what are the pros and cons of living in Franklin, Tennessee? Now, if you're thinking about moving to Franklin, you definitely wanna watch this video because we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Stay tuned. Now there's a lot of things to love about living in Franklin. It's a 200 plus year old town. It's got a lot of history and charm. It's one of the most talked about suburbs in Nashville because it's only got a short drive to downtown Nashville, like 20 minutes. You got 30 minutes to the airport, a lot of great food. It's got a thriving downtown district, tons of things to do. It's a great place for people in all life stages and Franklin, Tennessee has some of the best homes and most amazing homes there are in the Nashville area. Now that being said, Franklin has proven time and time again, it is an amazing place to live and overall, you will love living in Franklin. So if you're thinking about moving to Franklin, Tennessee and you need help navigating the real estate market, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, or you can schedule a Zoom with us. We'd love to help you make a smooth transition to Franklin or anywhere in the Nashville area. We're here to answer any questions that you've got. Now with Franklin being so close to Nashville and to the airport, convenience has to be really the first pro to living in Franklin. This is one of the reasons why so many corporations have made their home the headquarters right in Cool Springs area of Franklin, which is just off I-65. You've got companies like CHS, which is Community Health Systems, you got Nissan, Morris Pet Care, United Healthcare, Tractor Supply, Verizon, a whole bunch of others have major operations in Franklin. Now I mentioned Franklin borders the smaller suburb of Brentwood, which is even closer to downtown and the airport. So depending on your needs, Brentwood could be a better fit for you. Keep in mind, Franklin is 45 square miles so if you live on the southern edge of it and you're not close to the interstate, it can add about 15 minutes to your travel time. Now, one of the coolest things about living in Franklin and the first thing that jumps out is it's very old and established downtown square. Think old Civil War town, full on with a roundabout in the center of the square, 175 year old brownstones lining Main Street, local businesses on the first floor, families used to live on the, on the top floor and had their business down below, bustling with tourists and, and, and walk-in traffic all the time. So Franklin really has, I would say like what's called a hometown vibe that people really travel far and wide to get here to visit. You've got a lot of celebrities that they call Franklin home. People like Jack White, Justin Timberlake, Sheryl Crow, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Kathy Lee Gifford, Chris Stapleton, and also a big portion of the National 2 sports franchises all live in the Franklin area. Members of the Titans and the Nashville Preds, Many of them live in the Franklin area. Celebrity sightings are pretty common in Franklin. It's one of the reasons that they like living here because they're treated like everyone else. It's not uncommon to be in line behind, you know, one of your favorite stars or even one of your favorite athletes on the Titans or the Preds. There are two very distinct parts of Franklin with Cool Springs being one, which is just off 65 across from the Cool Springs Gallery Mall. <laughs> Our mall's still a thing, but this is where on, on Cool Springs, you're in Franklin on one side and you're in Brentwood on the other side. Cool Springs is where a lot of the corporate headquarters are, as well as a lot of the hotels and restaurants because it's right by 65. Now this area has seen a lot of growth, tremendous growth in the last 10, 20 years. What was really pasture land before is now you got high rises. So it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. The other distinct area to Franklin is the 200 plus year old downtown area, which is full of character and history and architecture and lots of stories. There's even in like this, this really cool 85 year old historic movie theater with a marquee that's lit up right there on Main Street. It's got great Christmas movies and movies throughout the year. Also, people perform there in terms of like musicians, but that brings me to like the festivals. Franklin's got a lot of festivals. It's really kind of what they're known for. It's really cool because what they do is they block off several blocks, the entire downtown area where everybody can walk around through the street. My favorite is the Dickens of a Christmas, but you've got the Main Street Festival, the Pumpkin Fest, the Along the Harpeth, the Bluegrass Fest. All of these are super duper family friendly. You got art crawls. There's just a ton to do in downtown Franklin. If you're into history, Franklin's packed with it. The Battle of Franklin was a bloody Civil War battle. 2,000 soldiers died, 7,500 wounded. There was 38,000 troops that fought here and you can actually visit the battlegrounds and the cemeteries and several historic homes have been preserved and they're actually now museums. You've got the Carnton House, Carter House, the Lots House, and there's, there's several other spots you can visit and take in all the rich history of the Civil War. Now, the downtown area of Franklin has some really amazing restaurants. You've got Red Pony, Cork and Cow, a new Italian restaurant that's called Colacinos. You've got Gray's on Main and 55 South. There's also several great bars and pubs like Obi Joyful, which is my favorite and owned by my friend Michael Cole. You've got 55 South, Hop House, and McCurry's Pub, which is the local Irish pub that's always got something cool going on. Now the coffee shop scene is definitely something here in Franklin. You've got several local coffee shops like Frothy Monkey, 
Meredith's, the coffee house, the mercantile. These are all Franklin staples and you'll see lots of folks chatting in there with their friends or having business meetings as you walk by. So the coffee shop scene is definitely cool, definitely something that people plug into immediately when they see it. The Cool Springs area is gonna have more chain type restaurants like Stony River, Connors, Bonefish Grill, but there's a few local regional favorites like Wild Ginger, which is amazing, the Honeysuckle, Sperry's, and then a really cool spot uh, to have a beer called the Broadway Brew House, where a lot of people congregate uh, to watch their favorite ball team. Now this brings me though, to what I would consider a con to living in Franklin. So remember, Franklin's just a suburb. It's got 85,000 people, so it's not Nashville. So the restaurant scene, depending on where you're from, it could be seen as a little bit limited to some folks, especially if you're moving from a larger or more diverse city or suburb. You know, things shut down at like 10 p.m. to 12 a.m depending on the place. So venturing in Nashville, try out one of their new restaurants, sometimes maybe the ticket. My only point is, is that you can run out of top notch restaurants and bars pretty quickly because it's just a suburb. And once you've been here a minute, you kind of can run through them all. It's not a terrible con, but you get it. Now, just about a mile from downtown Franklin sits Harlansdale Farms right on Franklin Road. It's right across the street from a famous factory that is now full of restaurants. Harlansdale used to be a horse farm, like I said, and they actually had horse races there, but now it's been preserved and you have festivals there. The Pilgrimage Festival is probably the biggest one. It's a two days festival, it's a music fest, but fun for all ages. It's not an overnight stay. You know, it shuts down to like eight or nine o'clock. You've had Foo Fighters I've seen there, Eddie Vedder, Justin Timberlake, Dave Matthews Band, the Black Keys, the Killers. So it's a great place to see music. The Pilgrimage Festival is really something that people kind of travel far and wide to come see. Franklin's also a big hub and home for Christian music artists and writers, producers, artists travel from all over the world to come here and write, record, studios, Matthew West, Charles of Clay, several others. Being in the middle of Bible Belt, there's a lot of churches to choose from. Franklin's predominantly a Protestant area, even though there are a few Catholic churches and a few synagogues and mosques close by as well. Now my next pro for living in Franklin, Tennessee has gotta be the schools. People literally move from all over the country, all over the world to experience the public schools here in Franklin and Williamson County. Blue Ribbon schools with the highest test scores in the state of Tennessee are right here in this area. This is a great segue to a con to move into Franklin. The secret's kind of out and it feels like everyone wants to move here. So with that comes all the issues associated with the city growing fast, like traffic flow, housing shortage, no public transportation, outside of a friendly little trolley bus that's more really of a treat than a ride somewhere. There is lots of new construction going on, but it's still not keeping up, and consequently, prices have really gone up exponentially in the last few years. Now, depending on where you're from, though, Franklin may seem like the deal of the century, especially if you're moving here from out west or from larger cities. Buyers, a lot of times, are shocked at how much of a home that they can buy here compared to where they live now. Dirt or lots are expensive here in Franklin and planners can be difficult to work with. Historically, there's constant debates about how to move the city forward as it grows. And part of that's good because they're trying to preserve the hometown and historic field of Franklin, but they're also juggling it with, you know, it's massive growing population and economy. Franklin's also home to Leaper's Fork. And Leaper's Fork's this little community out in the country about eight miles from downtown Franklin. It's got some cool little local shops and some shopping, but probably the coolest thing is Puckett's Grocery. Puckett's Grocery is where you go in, get a meet and three, but they've got a stage and that's where you can see a local recording artist playing music on a Friday or Saturday night. There's actually two locations to Puckett's. You've got one out in Leapers Fork and you've got one in downtown Franklin as well. Let's talk about the sports scene here in Franklin. You got lots of soccer and lots of golf for the entire family. Franklin's got golf clubs, you've got public courses and several clubs. The team soccer is on fire. So lots of kids play soccer here. If your kids are into baseball, there's some great rec league teams. There's also several travel teams here as well. So they can, your kids can get plugged in if, if your kids play baseball. Franklin's also got some amazing high school sports to go along with the academics. So I wanna tell you about the four high schools that are here in Franklin. You've got Franklin High, obviously it's the one's pretty close to downtown Franklin. You've got Centennial High, you've got Page, and then you've got Renaissance High School. All amazing high schools all with great test scores. Lots of amazing neighborhoods here in Franklin. Most are gonna have HOAs, which are homeowners association, but that's cool because you're gonna have neighborhood pools, you're gonna have sidewalks a lot of the times, but you can also live outside the city limits where there's no HOAs. And if you wanted to, you know, have a larger lot size or acreage, and you just wanted to paint your house some crazy color, you can do that. But the HOAs are really gonna dictate a lot of the neighborhoods in Franklin. And there's some good and some bad with that. Obviously you've got the rules that are in place, but you've also 
also got a great family atmosphere in these neighborhoods with some of them have golf courses, a lot of them have pools. So a lot of cool things that go on uh, inside those neighborhoods. A lot of them just are kind of uh, an entity unto themselves. You've got West Haven, which is an amazing neighborhood that was modeled after Seaside in Florida. That has its own golf course. It's pretty much an entity, almost like a little city unto itself. Fillstone Farms, which was the first neighborhood that I ever moved into, has starter homes all the way up to homes into the millions. And uh, so there's lots of, of neighborhoods that you can get into, plug into, that are gonna have maybe their own school, they're gonna have their pool or multi-pools, and a lot of things to do for the families. All right, so that concludes the pros and cons of Franklin. So overall, Franklin is a great place to live. I live here, there's a lot of happy people here. So if you're looking to move in the next six or 60 days, reach out to me and my team. I'd love to help you. We have a great team in place to help you get pre-approved where you can start looking for a home. We can plug you in with one of the top-notch local realtors who can find the right home for you and your family and get you on the way to moving here to Franklin. So be sure to like this video and subscribe to be notified as we add more information as we go along about the Middle Tennessee area. See you on the next video.